Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. We are just about to leave the Comlands. This isn't the way in? That way leads down into the valley. Wow, you know your way around, yeah? Huh? I don't remember Lula, who has been here before. Remember, she said she'd been here twice. One time, she had a summoner that died in the area. And the other time, she was the guardian of that man that we met over at Rin's shop. Sorry for the jump cut. She's running around like a spaz. Where are we? You didn't know that? The faith is inside. As are the fiends. <gasps> hey, this where... Hmm. Where? What? The summoner I guarded on my first pilgrimage died here. Yuna, let's go. The faith awaits. Okay, so Lulu has been here before. There's a faith inside, and therefore another Aeon. And that she's been here before. She failed to protect your list summoner, or her first summoner, and she died here. Now, this is just an optional thing. We don't actually have to go here. And I may actually recommend that you do not do this right now. There are two reasons why you would not want to do this part of the game right now. One thing, the enemies are kind of tough. They're tougher than what we found in the Comlands, or what we find up in Mount Gagazet, which would normally be the next part of the game. But, you know, we're here, so we might as well. Oh, they're missing a lot. So are we. There we go, petrify grenades. And a soft. Yeah! This isn't that big of a dungeon. It's very narrow, there are being very narrow corridors leading all the way through it, very little area to branch off from. But you can still get your ass kicked in here. Now this monster, you have to choose the correct eye to attack. You can only attack one eye, so don't do any magic attacks or anything. You can attack everything. Well, I hit the wrong eye. Oh, look at the damage. Now, I don't think that enemy will actually ever kill you. But it will do a lot of damage. So let's cure up. Now, if you hit the proper eye, and there may only be one proper eye, he will give you an item instead. What it is, is a little bit randomized, I think. But here we go. We have another opportunity to do it. And which eye will we attack? Do not steal from me. Just attack. Let's try this one. Bingo! Got it wrong. Oh, moving on. There's a treasure chest in the corner here. Mega elixir. Not a bad thing to carry around. Faith doing in a place like this? Don't ask me. They say it was stolen from a temple long ago. Huh? With no faith, summoners cannot train. Without training, they cannot call the final Aeon. Without the final Aeon, they cannot defeat Sin. That is why. Because then the summoner won't die. Hmm. That must be what the thief was thinking. Uh, I 
kind of agree with him. Mm -hmm. So there you go. The reason why there's a faith in this dungeon instead of the regular, uh, you know, Yevon Temple or the Cloister of Trials and all that. The reason why you're going to find the faith here is because somebody stole it. And who stole it? Well, probably the Albed. The Albed, apparently, have always been trying to uh, keep the summoners from completing the pilgrimage. Because if they do that, they summon the final Aeon and they get themselves killed. This is what they were trying to avoid. So they stole this uh, faith here. In a kind of a crappy attempt to stop the pilgrimage. Hit with fire. Nice. Uh oh. Okay, we have a countdown of turns, I believe, until Lulu dies. I don't know why I'm trying to speed up Titus. His water attack is absorbed. Let's tame this thing. Ooh, powerful attacks. Let's get Lulu out of here so she doesn't die. Kamari's got more powerful magic attacks anyway. Captured. They can go left or right. Let's go right, even though we're supposed to go left. But there should be something back here we can collect. Ooh, a key sphere. Level 2. If we had more level 4s, that would be awesome. But we'll take a level 2. Oh boy. More monsters. Nothing's supposed to be weak against ice. Now it's dead. Okay, they're going to go cast Reflect on themselves. And the reason why they do that is because once they have Reflect on themselves, that's how they will actually attack your party. They'll cast on themselves. They'll cast magic attacks on themselves. Which will then go and Reflect onto the player. Now, it's a, it's a way of getting around another character's barrier. Like, let's say we had Reflect on one of my characters, or all of my characters. That would completely negate that thing's ability to attack, directly. But it could attack itself, the attack would be reflected off and hit you. Capture sword again. The taming sword. Because I'm trying to capture this thing. Yeah. 
remember the reason why I'm capturing. The guy in the Comlands is trying to capture all these different beasts from all over the place, so that way he can start up the training center for the Crusaders again. Now, I'll... Uh, he won't get... I don't think he'll pay you money or anything like that, but he will give you items. And that kind of thing, if you're able to capture everything. Now, you have to capture everything in a certain area, every different monster, with the exception of the, like, robots, like that thing in the middle. can't capture those. Ah, apparently... Tita still has lightning armor on. And, of course, uh... Riku can take out these big, uh, machines by a steel pen. Capture this thing apparently. Yeah. The capture sword is not that great of a sword to use as a weapon because it doesn't have that many damage modifiers. I mean, one of them is taken up by capture, and I put sensor on another one. It's not like it's ever going to be a really strong weapon. I could go up, or you could go left. I'm gonna go up. Because, you know... We gotta explore. Now, I'm gonna show you this battle again. Because I actually chose right this time. A phoenix down! Doesn't really seem worth it, with all the effort I put into it, does it? Bingo! Another Phoenix Down. Now, it will not always just give you a Phoenix Down. Oftentimes, it will give you other stuff. Oh, and it's also impossible to defeat this enemy. You have to run away from it, or you have to allow it to kick your ass at the end of the fight. A lot of unsent in here. Pyre flies all over the place. Bed primer. Mm, o to Y. What does that mean? There's only two left? Or only one left? Only one Al Bed primer left. It's gonna be a few episodes where we're able to pick it up though. Just a quick save. Also remember the save points also restore your HP and MP. So it's a good thing to stick around that thing if you're getting your ass kicked too much by the enemies. You know, build up your Pat, levels. Another Guado fiend? No, an unsent. It is. It's you, is it not, Lady Ginnam? Forgive me. I was too young.
There is no human left in you now, is there? Very well then. Allow me to perform my last duty to you. My last as your guardian. itself will not be a big problem. It's going to be immune to all your status ailments and that kind of crap. But, you know, all you really have to do is bash the thing a lot, and when he builds up in overdrive, go and summon one of your Aeons to absorb the damage. It's not that hard to fight this guy. Something I'm a little confused because nothing is steal, yay. Doesn't you Jindo always have money? Um something I'm always confused about in this game is early in the game they were mentioning, or Lulu was mentioning about how people, after they die, they need to be sent. I mean imagine some of them can just move on to the far plane on their own, but a lot of them need to be sent by a summoner for them to, like, reach their afterlife kind of thing. And the reason why that needs to happen is because they eventually grow really resent the living or something like that, and it becomes a problem, and uh, they become evil. And I guess that happened with this summoner here. But what's bothering me about that is why doesn't that always happen? I mean, why didn't it happen to Seymour? I mean, Seymour is evil, but he's not a mindless monster. The same thing goes for Micah. I mean, they're bad people, but they were probably bad before they were dead. I mean, Seymour certainly was an evil man before he died. His death doesn't seem to have changed his personality all that much. So, if people can master the kind of death that Seymour and Micah went through, and they somehow managed to maintain their sort of mental faculties, death would basically be meaningless in this world. And that is kind of a scary thought, though, isn't it? Okay, 
Yo, Jimbo is about to overdrive. So you're gonna wanna go and summon one of your AIs to absorb the hit. You don't want him kicking your ass. that they've been there. But he's almost dead. He's leaning over. Faith is inside. Go do what you came to do. Why, while you're here, why not try sending all these people that died here, you know? Blade of Vengeance. They dare only whisper my name. Your Jimbo. Summoner, I ask you, what do you want of me? 
depending on what you choose, is going to depend how much you have to pay for this. Now, you want to choose to defeat the most if powerful you enemies. My strength, you must pay my price. Okay, I kind of screwed that up. Make your offer. So this isn't going to work. What you got to do, though, is haggle with them. I don't have enough money to haggle this price down far enough, so this is going to fail. But, uh, let's try this anyway. Try half his price plus one gil. Do we have a deal? And he lowers it. Then you could maybe haggle him down just a little bit more. Let's try that. Go half of what he's asking for. Not sure what I was thinking there. Do we have a deal? Ah, he lowered it again. Still don't have enough money though. Wow. This guy's running a tough bargain. What the hell does an Aeon want to do with money anyway? Cheap bastard. I do not know what I was thinking when I was running these numbers. No deal. Ah, Maybe it. next time. Okay. I'm gonna go back after I've gotten the money I need. Oh, look at that. An asking price is lower because I made the proper choice. To defeat the most powerful enemies is what you need to choose to get the lowest price. Now, go and... Try, uh, go by half. Do we have a deal? No. We have enough money, but your asking price is enormous. So give him a decent deal. Do we have a deal? Ah, he's lowered it again. I'll make a little... Sweeten the deal just a little bit. Adequate. You are my client henceforth. Oh, we've got a new Aeon. My sword shall guard you on your journey, Summoner. Yojimbo. Say we go summon this guy and see what he can do. Slow down on the emulator. We need a fight. We need a fight. We need a fight. Here we go. Okay, let's get Yuna out here and quit screwing around. Go Jimbo! Despite the fact that we just gave him an enormous amount of money, we have to pay him more to make him attack. What does he want with Gil? I have no idea. But provided you have the money, he makes a pretty good Aeon. Let's give him one Gil, see what he does. If you give him an enormous amount of money, he will go through like a one-hit kill on basically any enemy you can think of. You can actually make the game that much easier, provided you have a shitload of money. But thanks for watching, and be sure to catch the next episode while we head up the Mountain Gagazette.